Hi Geometry, welcome to 8.4. We just got the alert that there will be no school tomorrow. Should be sub-freezing temperatures. Be careful, don't go outside if you can't. Um, we are going to be talking about rhombuses, rhombi, rhombuses, I'm not sure, rectangles and squares. So I can use the properties of those three quadrilaterals and I can apply the properties of parallelograms in the real world. Remember, all of these are parallelograms, okay? So specifically, we'll find out why. Here we go. List the five ways to prove a parallelogram, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Okay, so the things that we've learned so far, um, opposite sides are parallel. Parallel. Okay. <laughs> opposite sides are congruent. Both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. Diagonals bisect each other. And one Here's the, here's the one that sneaks up on everybody. One pair of opposite sides are congruent and parallel. All right, so that, that's the one that people usually don't remember, but focus on it. All right, here we go. Find x in the parallelogram. So if I know this is a parallelogram, I know the diagonals bisect each other. So if they bisect each other, these two are equal. So I'll set them equal to each other and solve for x. I'll subtract 2x on both sides and add 32 to both sides. Divide both sides by 3. This only said find x. Got to be careful. Uh, sometimes the directions will say find the, the length of the whole diagonal. So got to figure that out. All right. Corollaries. I always thought these are silly, but they need to be pointed out. Okay, so here's our rhombus. A quadrilateral is a rhombus. Okay, I usually abbreviate if and only if like this. And it also means that the converse is true. If and only if it has, oh, I didn't see that, four congruent sides. There we go. Basically, this is a slanted square. Okay, so you don't have the right angles. A rectangle right here. Quadrilateral is a rectangle if and only if it has four right angles. Okay. ABCD is a rectangle if and only if the angles are right angles. So actually, I should be labeling these right here. Maybe I'll label that for your notes. Oh, what happened there? So you won't have to. Okay, and here's our square. If you notice that these have become a little bit more specific. A quadrilateral is a square if and only if it is a rhombus, so four sides are congruent, and a rectangle. So it has to be both of these. So four sides are congruent and you have right angles. There you go. So your square is the most specific. So ABCD is a square if and only if those sides are congruent, those angles are right angles. Okay. So we're getting a little bit more specific. Next page. Ooh, color. Okay, here's a nice Venn diagram. Apparently you didn't know that, so I had to tell you. And here we have not all quadrilaterals, of course, um, parallelograms. So all of them would be parallelograms. Rhombuses, rectangles together, they make a square. Okay, so I thought that was kind of cute. Uh, unfortunately, yours is in black and white, so it's not as pretty, but it'll work. All right. For any rectangle ABCD, decide whether the statement is always some t or sometimes true. Draw a sketch and explain your reasoning. Okay. So, you draw something we have A, B, C, D, and they're saying this. 
Now, is that always or sometimes true? Always. Why? Opposite sides are congruent. Um, and all rectangles are parallelograms. How about this one? AB is congruent to BC. Sometimes. Okay, because you, you can have elongated rectangle, but these would only be incongruent if, there, if it was a square. Um, but you could say not all rectangles are squares. Okay, let's classify this. So we don't have much going on. And we have to say, is it a parallelogram? Is it a, well, actually, we don't know about the opposite sides are parallel, but let's make that assumption. Explain your reasoning. Okay, so look at this. Opposite angles are congruent, and um, these two sides are also the same length. This is going to be a rhombus. We don't know anything. We don't know if we have right angles here, so. Okay, parallelogram, okay, it's a parallelogram because opposite angles are congruent. And then we know a pair of adjacent sides are congruent. Remember adjacent means next to? You can tell they're going to have some proofs in this section. <laughs> All right. Next page. Yeah, actually, the pages are taken up mostly by um, theorems. And I have the pictures in order for each one. Okay. So, a parallelogram is a rhombus, if and only if its diagonals are perpendicular. Look at that. Diagonals are perpendicular here. So, um, I did get a picture that had congruent signs, but I took that off. Just because I want to focus on that part. A parallelogram is a rhombus if only if each diagonal bisects a pair of opposite angles. Okay, so opposite angles bisect. Okay. Um, see, this side's congruent to that, this is congruent to that, and opposite angles are congruent. You can see it. Uh, let's see here. So, rhombus ABCD is. Um, a rhombus if and only if AC bisects these two angles and BD. I should label these. A, B, C, D. Um, they bisect the angles also. Okay? So that means this is the same as this. This is the same as that. And last but not least, a parallelogram is a rectangle. So we have two rhombi. So a rectangle if and only if the diagonals are congruent. This whole length is congruent to that whole length. Okay? That's going to happen with a rectangle and a square but not a rhombus. Okay, remember rhombus is slanted, so you can have one slant that's bigger than the other, or one diagonal bigger than the other. Um, all right, let's see here. Sketch rectangle JKLM and list everything you know about it. Okay, so I'm going to make it long so I can list all the stuff here. J, K, L, M. First of all, it's a parallelogram. What does that mean? Opposite sides are parallel. We have four right angles. Okay, so let's put those in there. Opposite sides are congruent. And parallel. Oh, this goes, oh well, it's better. What else? Diagonals bisect each other. And the diagonals are congruent. Okay, let me kind of draw that. Wish I had my ruler with me. And diagonals are congruent. 
All right, so far so good. Got to remember all that stuff. Good luck. Now, sketch square EFGH, unless there's anything you know about it. Okay, so we have all of the information about the rectangles. So all the rectangle stuff. All right, so let's draw those in. Okay, did I get them all? But we have one additional thing. Diagonals are perpendicular. Just like a rhombus. So why does a square and a rhombus have perpendicular diagonals, but the rectangle does not? It's because they have the same length sides. Okay, all four sides are the same length. So that does it. Um, and also, the diagonals bisect these angles. That is not the case with the rectangle, okay? If you look, that angle's a little bit smaller than that one. All right, ooh, let's write that down. Diagonals bisect opposite angles. All right. You've got to know all these properties. You'll get it. I've included lots of diagrams. Help you remember visuals. All right, so you're building a case with glass shells for collectibles. Each length is 24 inches. Given the shelf measurements in the diagram, can you assume the shelf is a square? No, why not? You have four side, uh, four congruent sides. Guarantee a rhombus. We don't know anything about the angles, okay? We're not sure of the angles. Of course, if we knew they were right angles or if we knew one of them was a right angle, that would be enough to find. All right, so you measure the diagonals to find that they're both 33.94. Okay, so we measure this. Now, what can you conclude about the shape? All right, remember what we just did about a square? Um, this is the same with diagonals are congruent, but is that going to be the same with a rhombus? Okay, we don't know if they're not necessarily the same, but if you have right angles, the diagonals are going to be congruent. So we congruent diagonals makes it a square. Okay. So here's a nice little pretty diagram. I did it in color, so I don't know if you wanted to kind of do it in color for you. Parallelogram has all this stuff. Um, a rhombus will have the same as above, one through four, and then this. The rectangle, one through four above, and then diagonals are congruent, and then the square. One through seven, so it has all of them. There you go. Okay, so I really like this visual. I wonder if I can enlarge it, make a poster of it. Okay. Separate this assignment out into two days. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. And here's our common core standard. So stay warm, and I might, will I see you Thursday? I don't know, but definitely Friday. It's supposed to rain on Saturday. Take care.